the girls that when I pick them up, I would have a special surprise for them. Are you excited to hear what our surprise is today? Yes! Bell Mead Plantation, which is an old plantation here in the Nashville area, waiting to pick up Addie and Maya from their homeschool history club, where they go once a month to learn all about history. And I told the girls that when I pick them up, I would have a special surprise for them. So I think they're going to be very excited to see me in just a few minutes, and I can't wait to tell them and you what our surprise is going to be. History club today, girls. Good. What'd you learn about? Um, I, I learned about the war. I uh, learned about. I don't peace. remember my which favorite topic. <laughs> about oh, interesting. Are you excited to hear what our surprise is today? Yes. If it's so exciting, we have to vlog it. It must be, really <laughs> it must be a good, exciting surprise. We have beautiful weather. It's a little windy right now, but it's been so cold lately, and we have pretty weather. Yesterday, we went for a bike ride, and Maya, a couple weeks ago, you learned to do what? Ride my bike when I'm training. Or ride her bike without training wheels. Have you seen that vlog yet? If you haven't, you should check it out. It's a really After good one. We're going to go with a new bike! <laughs> yes! Yay! Yes! 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 Do you think they're excited at all? I can't tell. Yes! Yes! Maya's bike. The bike we have at home for, I bought it for you when you were four years old. And she looks like a giant on it, don't you? And it still has training wheels, so it's time to upgrade her to a big girl bike now without training wheels. Yeah, so we're into Walmart. How do we go to Walmart? We'll just start there. We'll take a look. And then Addie? I need a new bike. Your bike's seen better days as well. <laughs> and you've grown a lot too. Yeah. So I think it's time for you to get like a real like big bike. So I figured we'll start at Walmart. Yeah, let's go. We're going to look for some bikes. All right, let's go. And hopefully since it's a beautiful day outside, we can come home let's go. and test them out. Yeah, let's go. Come All right, on. let's go. Yeah, let's go. It's bike shopping time. Oh. from girls. What is it? Are any of these my size? These ones? Let me see. This is way too small, Maya. This bike is probably the size that, I think this is smaller than the bike she actually has, actually. This bike, I think, may I think these are all 16 inch bikes, and I think you need a way bigger bike than a 16 inch bike. Then I get a big girl bike. You do get a big girl bike, that's why we're here. I think this whole section is too small for you, Maya. These are all like the other side. starter bikes, no, but, 12 inch, 16 inch. But the ones on the other side are too big for me. I think you can ride a bigger bike than you realize. So let's go to the other side. This side's too small. Let's check the other side. Addie says they're all too big on the other side. I hope that's not the case. Over there? Okay. All right, we'll go check out those. Here we go. Is this one my size? 20 up there. I think 20 is probably what you need, Maya. All right, so we know I need 20. Let's see, this is 20 it's, inch it's two. 20. It says this is for height four foot two to five feet tall. I wish I remember how tall you guys were. Mine is definitely in that range. But you're I'm not five not, feet yet. I'm definitely not five feet, and I'm more than four foot two. So, so you're right in there. Yeah, so we're, we could both get a 20 inch bike. Probably so. Oh, Alright, let's try one. Do you see one you like? Let's go see the one that's over there. Wait, wait, wait. So what about like this one up here? This one's cute. This one? No, that's too big. This no, 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 that's the right size. This one is a sea star. It's huffy. And it's perfect. Has streamers, has, Maya. has the things for like the training wheels are on, so we could try it. All right, you want to give it a go? Yeah, it's just like a car, you got to do a test drive. That's a cute one, too. That is, I don't know, that's not. Ooh, this Charmer, has, has a little hearts on it. But yeah, both of these. And a basket up here. This one has a kickstand, also. We learned that Maya is big on baskets. She likes the bikes that have baskets at front. So I told her we're not going to select a bike just based on the basket. We can always order a basket but afterwards. We're going to pick the bike that feels right when she rides it. Addie's riding. See, oh, it has a handle brake and you could also pedal backwards to break it up. Oh, that's nice. Do you want to try that one, Maya? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what do you think? I really like on um, the one that, that was over there. I wanted to go see if that one. 
All right, let's go try that one. I think Maya's feeling a little bit nervous because she isn't riding as well in the store. So I'm trying to remind her that we're in Walmart, there's aisles. It'll feel much more natural when we're outside and not constrained by bikes and aisles and toys and things that she's afraid of running into. This one's too small for you, love. It has training wheels and you will outgrow that by the time you're <laughs> four foot two, which I think you practically are four foot two. Aww. This is a cool one too. But it has training wheels. It does have training wheels. It's 18 inches, so it's between the size you have now and between the 20 inch. So I'm not sure this would be something you'd outgrow too quickly or maybe it's just the right in between. It's cute. Should we pull it down just to take a look at it? No. No? Okay. Maybe not. It is cute looking though. Daddy's checking out this bike which is pretty cool. But we're not sure yet. There is a Target right down the road so we could head to Target and see what bike they have and kind of compare. But, what do you but, think? But what if we go to Target and we don't like those ones? How would... Then we'll come back here. Headed off to Target. It's a shame because we used to always do our bike shopping at Toys R Us because they had tons to choose from. And now that there's no Toys R Us's, so we're kind of just trying to piece together maybe a Walmart, maybe a Target. Target bike selection is not as big as Walmart's, but we'll see if we can find something here that works. This one is 28, so this one could work for you guys. I'm gonna pull it out. This one's a little too big, that's 24 what inches. About that one? This one up here, yes, that one looks like it could work for you. Addie, you might need a bigger size, actually. I can't tell if you just need to raise the seat. You might be able to try a 24-inch bike. This is a cool mountain bike, Addie. What's a mountain bike? It's just a little bit more rugged, so you can ride on, like, not just on roads, but on different, like, okay. slopes. And... Okay, good, because I, literally in the Arboretum, there's this, like, area, basically how I pass people is I get in the grass, and it's really bumpy for my own. Well, this might be perfect for that, then. You wanna try it? Mm -hmm. Whoa! <laughs> the thing about mountain bikes is they have gears that you shift. Yeah. So you shift it depending on whether you're riding like uphill, you make it easier to pedal. If you're going um, flat, you can make it harder to pedal. So it's just something, a new thing to learn with bikes. Do you <laughs> think I'll be ready for this kind of bike? You look pretty good on it. Yeah, I feel good on this one. Maya really likes this bike. This is not at all what I pictured you'd be picking out. I thought you'd be picking out something really freely with a big back or a place for a doll. There is no but this is the one you like? Why do you like this one? Because it looks like a big kid bike. I want a big kid bike. <laughs> it does look like a big kid bike, Maya. That one or this one? Uh, I like that one, the one you're wearing, Maya. Like the unicorn? You like that one on her? Yeah, it looks cute. Big so you can have a big kid big bike kid. but a cute unicorn helmet. I like the combination. Well, that, I think they're both for big kids. Which one do you? Mm, I want a big kid. <laughs> That's a big kid one. Try the other one on too. Remember, you, ha you have plenty of years to be a big kid. So I see you be a cute little seven-year-old with a unicorn helmet as long as you can. It's good. It's good. So which one's it gonna be? This one. That one. All right, girly. Big kid. Big kid. Okay. I feel like we have a lot of helmets in our garage. Helmets that we've kind of collected over the years. We've gotten from grandma and grandpa's house. But we've had a couple fit issues with them. And now that they have bigger bikes that are going to be a little bit more challenging for them, I really want to make sure they have helmets that I know fit well and that are secure and that they're going to keep those little heads nice and safe. Looking good, girls. Now we have to figure out how to get them in the car. So I'm going to have to move some seats around here. Colin's car seat out, but maybe we take his car seat out and then we can free up more a lot more space. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do we need to do that? Yes. I actually think I got it. Yeah. You think it'll close? Yeah, but I, I'm just not sure about my bike. If your bike is hanging out here? Yeah. Moment of truth, we're gonna try to close the trunk. All right, here we go. Here we go, I'll close. No! Oh! <laughs> Denied. Angle this wheel up a little bit more. Don't ruin our bikes. That might close. Come on. Oh, it closed. We got the bikes in. We did it. Yes. <laughs> I've never been so happy to fit bikes in a car before. <laughs> Hi, Colin. On the way home from the store, we actually picked up Colin from preschool. He's still a little sleepy, which is why he's so quiet. He was sound asleep when I went in the room, so I had to get him up and try to wake him up. What's next to you? What are those things back in the trunk? What are they? 
Bikes? Whose bikes are they? Maya and Addie. Maya and Addie. They are Maya and Addie's bikes, but we have a special surprise for you. We got you a bike. Are you gonna have a big boy bike now? No, but I want a tiny bike. You want a tiny bike? <laughs> <laughs> On our way out, we actually stopped and got Colin a balance bike too. They are those bikes that they don't have pedals on them. Um, but they're supposed to be really good for teaching how to balance for like a big boy bike someday. So it's still small enough that he can learn to hopefully ride it and balance on it. And that way when it's time to put him on a real big boy bike without training wheels, I'm hoping he'll be ready. So it'll be interesting to try because I think Maya had one when she was younger but she never really used it. So I'm hoping he gets the hang of it and is able to enjoy it. Who wants to go ride bikes now? Me! And home we go to put the bikes together and start riding. Do you want to see your new bike? Yeah, it's in the front seat. You can help me get it out. I wanted a Spider-Man one. A Spider-Man one? Spider -Man. You still have your Spider-Man tricycle and you can still ride that too. But this is going to be like a, a bike to help you ride a big boy bike. Girls seem like they are already good to go, which is a couple test drives. We're just gonna get Collins up and going and let him try it a few times, and then we'll probably head to the Arboretum, which is a beautiful trail just down the road from us, and do maybe a couple loops around there and let them get really warmed up and feeling good on their new bikes. A whole bike? Did you just yeah. want a wheel? Yes. Yeah. Yes, just a wheel. Yeah. <laughs> Hope Daddy needs the wheel now. Let's see how you ride it, buddy. Addy's gonna help you. Alright, start walking. Just like that. Wow, look at you go! <laughs> I guess this is how you teach a toddler boy to ride a bike. Do you want to try again? Yes, I want to go fast. You want to go fast? Okay. I'm assuming that just with over time, he's going to get quicker and quicker and balance a little bit better. It's scary. It's scary. It's okay. And keep going down. You keep going down. It's all right, buddy. But it'll probably be a learning process. We'll get there though, bud. We're comparing Maya's old bike to her new bike and her new one is so much bigger, which is just crazy to see how small her bike was for her. I can't believe you're riding this tiny one. We made it to the Arboretum, Collins bike is in the stroller with me because I knew he couldn't ride it here and he probably can't ride it the whole time but once we get to an area where it levels out we're gonna let him ride it for a little bit and then we'll always have the stroller to either put it in or him in when he tires out. We lucked out because it's a beautiful day. It's been so rainy and cold lately and then you hear it's gonna be rainy and cold again tomorrow. I heard the next three days we have rain again so we're getting out while we can. dragging the bike with us now, but we'll get it. Maya took a long time to get off her training wheels. We just had to wait until she was ready, and I'm sure it'll be the same thing with Colin. We're going to have to wait until he's ready to do it, and he'll do it just fine. Thanks for watching Tic Tac Toy Family today. The girls are doing great on their bikes. Colin, do you like your bike? No. No, not so much. We'll get there, though. We'll see you guys next time. For now, we'll leave you with 
Exo, Exo. 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 Bye. Bye.